Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining. Today I'm firing up the Weber Smoky Mountain and we're cooking some beef short ribs, folks. One of my absolute favorites. And we're trying out some new rubs. So, it's gonna be a great video. I hope y'all stick around. We'll be right back. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, cooking up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. Cooks responsibly. All right, folks, I got uh, some used up charcoal here. It's still, still good, but uh, I had it over from my last cook, so I'm just reusing it. Made a little hole in the middle. We're going to do the minion method, and um, this is lump charcoal. Go ahead and put some uh, hot coals here in the middle right there. And it'll slowly, using the minion method, ignite the ones around the edges. I'm probably going to throw in some uh, hickory chunks or some pecan chunks on there. And uh, a lot of y'all keep asking me about this, this charcoal basket. That's a, uh, it's a charcoal basket that I got from uh, Arbor Fabricating. I'll put their link down below for you. Uh, it's 302 stainless, 304. It's stainless steel, folks. It ain't going to rust on you. And it's very well made. So, hope y'all uh, check them out. Arbor Fabricating. Let's uh, put this Weber Smoky Mountain together. All right, so here we go. Uh, hickory, smoking chunks, folks. I ain't got many chunks left. Most of it's bark. That'll work. Throw some in there. Um, probably help if I open up these vents. Yeah, let's open up my vents, T-Roy. Get some airflow going in there, boy. There you go, folks. Oh, uh. So there you go, that should be enough. All right, midsection, going on. Grill grate, coming out. Water pan going in. And we'll get my hose, we'll be right back. All right, just got my regular old garden hose here. And what I like to do is put this uh, water level about three-fourths of the way up in the water pan. That should give me enough, at least for a six-hour cook. And if you're going for a longer cook, you may need to add some water to check on it frequently once it hits about the six-hour mark. But uh, let me get this filled up. We'll be right back. All right. That's about three-fourths of the way up. Y'all want to see? Ha! There you go. Can y'all see that? All right. All right, so now we got to put the lid. grill grate back on. Let this get warmed up, and I'm going to scrape all this junk off the grill grate here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this baby. Get it cranked up. I'm going to shoot for about 225, 250. All right, so all the vents are wide open. We'll bring y'all back when this thing gets to be uh, about 225. We'll throw the meat on there. But let me go show you the meat real quick. Now, guys, I had a birthday last month. And uh, I'm signed up to Low Bell's newsletter, okay? Get a newsletter maybe once a week from them or something like that. But when it's your birthday, they send you a free filet mignon. At least the last few years, that's what I've gotten, a free eight ounce filet mignon. Same thing this year. While I was there putting in my code to get my free filet mignon, I also ordered some of these short ribs, folks. Nice beef short ribs. This is prime, USDA prime. There you go, I had it upside down. Sorry about that. Y'all check out all that marbling, man. Y'all see all that? That's some good eating, folks. I've had these before. Ha, it's been a long time. Can't wait to dig in. Let's cut these babies open and uh, see what they look like, and then we'll season them up. Folks, I wanted to show you, while I'm cutting this thing open, I just wanted to show you, they put a, um, see if I can get it where y'all can see it. You see this, uh, this stuff right here? This, they put this on the inside of the plastic to keep the bones from piercing this plastic, okay? So they really wrap these up real nice. But uh, man, I, I just can't wait. This is gonna be some fine eating, y'all. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, get out of there. There we go. All right, there's one of them. I'm gonna do the other two here, but uh, again, just gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, for my, uh, for my shake, I'm using some of this, uh, what is this, the Competition Cow Shake. This is from, uh, uh, heck, I had a brain fart. Uncle Steve's shake. <laughs> Sorry about that, Uncle Steve. 
What's in this, man? Let me see if he says anything in here. Black pepper, and you can tell it's mainly black pepper, folks. That's the first ingredient right there. See how dark that is? So he's got black pepper, uh, salt, garlic, some spices, paprika, citric acid, cornstarch, uh, the other stuff you normally would have in there to keep it from caking up. So uh, good stuff. No sugar in here, just so you know. I'm also going to try Jabin's uh, Postal Barbecue Mad Cow Rub. He sent this to me. I appreciate that, Jace, uh, Jabin. What's he got in this one? Let's see if he has anything. It says gluten-free uh, ingredients. First ingredient again is black pepper, folks. But you can see the difference in the color. There you go. <clears throat> All right, black pepper, salt, garlic, onion, paprika, chili powder, cayenne pepper, sugar. This one does have sugar. All right. All right, so we're going to check this out. It's got the regular stuff like I mentioned. Let me get these other two opened up. And these are, uh, these are 16 ounces a piece, so one pound of short ribs. And they, when you order one, they send you three, okay? So three pounds worth. Let me get them cut up. We'll bring you right back. I'm just going with Karen's first. She just likes salt and pepper, folks. That's pretty easy to do. So let's, that, let's do that. You're starting out with like a teaspoon, a teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever you want to call it. It's a big old hunk of meat, folks. So y'all can go ahead and put it in there pretty good. Get out of here. Just like so. Black pepper. Basically, basically same amount. Probably don't need that much. There you go. That'll work. Pretty windy out here, so I'm having trouble getting this rub on here. And I'm not going to rub the bone side. I'm just doing the other three edges. All right. All right, so that one's Karen's. Now. Let's go on with some of this uh, mad cow rub right here. Just like that, folks. And for this one, I'm putting in one toothpick. I'm going to put it in the end so that way I can flip them around. But one toothpick going in the end, that's going to designate that that's the uh, postal barbecue. And let's go on with Uncle Steve's. Ooh, Uncle Steve. Yeah, baby. Comes out fast, folks. It's got that little uh, kind of teardrop hole right there. There's some big old chunks of black pepper in there, Uncle Steve. I'm digging that, bro. All right. And on this one, well, I don't really need toothpicks in it because I can tell this one's Karen's. Well, I might as well go ahead and put toothpicks in it. Just, just to be safe. Putting two toothpicks in the end of this one. That way I'll know that it's Uncle Steve's. All right. Now, let's uh, see if uh, we can get that w w WSM. Can't even talk, folks. We're going to get the Weber Smoky Mountain up to 225, and then we'll throw these ribs on, okay? And I still got to clean that grate. So we'll catch you right back. All right, guys, we finally hit 225, which is right where that blue and red line meet. So let's go ahead and, and I clean my grate. Careful when you're sitting that down. Let's go ahead and throw these ribs on. I'm going to put them bone side down to start off. Just like so. All right. So this is the uh, Postal Barbecue, and this is Uncle Steve's, and just salt and pepper. Just so you can get reminded there of what we got. Lid back on this baby. And since we're coming up to where we need to be on temp, I am going to go ahead and shut these bottom vents halfway and let her kind of dial in and see where she sits. I may need to adjust them a little bit more and if I do I'll do that and I'll let you know but so uh, she usually cooks pretty good unless it gets real hot out here which it is supposed to do yeah we're supposed to be uh heck I don't know we're supposed to be about 95 today so we'll see how it goes I may have to dial down one of those vents all the way and just leave two of them open to maintain 225 250 but we'll see and like I said, I'll let you know. Oh, let me show you real quick here. Forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, Josh and Babe, man, the cooking cop and Babe on YouTube. Y'all go check him out. I'll put his link up here. Uh, he was uh, thrilled that I was, you know, showcasing some of my fans that also have YouTube channels on some of my previous videos. And uh, he sent me a shirt. So Josh, Babe, love you guys. Hope to see you again soon sometime. And uh, thanks for the shirt. See y'all shortly when these ribs are getting closer to being done. Probably going to be about a six hour cook. 
I'm guesstimating. We may wrap, may not, but I'll bring you back when we do some updating. It's been three hours. Let's check and see where we're at on these ribs. Still holding 250. Now about an hour ago, about the two hour mark, I did shut down one of my vents because I was getting about 275. So just shutting one vent and leaving the other two half open and leaving the top fully open. I'm maintaining 250 with this lump charcoal, so it's looking good. Oh, y'all check that out, man. Dog, those are looking really, really nice. Real nice. And they hot too. Right, there you go, man. Yeah, let's spin these around a little bit. Lay them on their side. Something like that. See if that'll do any difference. Now what I may do, yeah, what I think I am gonna do, I'm gonna wrap these at this point and we'll let them go for another hour and a half, two hours until they get about 200 internal. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna we're gonna give these a taste. So I'm not gonna show wrapping on camera, just trying to keep the video a little shorter. Y'all seen me wrap stuff before, but you just get some heavy duty aluminum foil, put your little water or some kind of a beef broth or something in the foil or anything else you want in there. Sometimes I like to add a little tiger sauce, you know how I like to do that. But um, we're gonna wrap these babies up individually, let them finish cooking. We'll catch y'all back when they're just about done. We'll probe them for tenderness at that point. All right, gang, it's been five and a half hours. I was guessing five and a half, six hours or so for this cook. That's what it usually takes for these short ribs, especially from Lil Belzy. They may cook a little bit faster than your normal store-bought because uh, of all the marbling, you know. But uh, let's check on them. It's five and a half hours in. And uh, let's see the... Look at there. Weber Smoky Mountain still maintaining 250, folks. Folks, I'm telling you what. I've had this smoker. Uh, and this is a 22 and a half inch. I've had this thing for over eight years. She still looks almost brand new. Uh, and I just, I can't get over when you get this thing dialed in with the vents, how wonderful it, it just sits there all day until it starts running out of charcoal. But let's go ahead and check on these ribs, see how tender they are. Give them a little quick probe test. And the uh, salt and pepper ones for Karen. These are the uh, uh, Uncle Steve's shape. And this is a uh, postal barbecue, okay? And I forget how I have them laying here. Oh, that's tender right there, baby. Oh, those are tender as well. Look, 208, 209, 210, 211. Yeah, these are done, folks. I'm glad I came out and checked them. That's 2010, 209, 2010. Uh, what are these? Same, about 210. So all these are reading about 210, 211. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off, folks. And uh, we're going to let these babies rest for, I don't know, probably a half hour or so. I mean, you don't have to let them rest that long, but i got to go cook some sides or ask the wife to cook some sides to go with this. So um, we'll catch y'all back here after they cooled off a little bit, and uh, we'll see what they're looking like. All right, guys, this is what we got. And I'll tell you, these bones are just falling. I mean, look, falling off the bone right there. Gee whiz. Uh, this has the one toothpick, so this is going to be the Postal Barbecue. See how it looks? And then this one has two toothpicks. This is the uh, Uncle Steve Shake. Looks a little bit darker. Of course, the Shake itself is a little bit darker. It's got more black pepper in it, you know, as you can see. More black pepper. And here's the uh, the uh, Postal Barbecue. It's a little more paprika or something, cayenne stuff. Um, so anyway, that's what we got. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these off and, and uh, just so happens my pool guy is here so we're going to get him to come over here in just a little bit and get him to give us a, uh, you know, an idea of what he thinks about them. So I'm just going to cut one of these off here and this is, I'm not going to tell him which one is which. Alright, so you can see there the nice smoke ring coming off that Weber Smoky Mountain. Let's, uh, and, oh and the, uh, the one that's just salt and pepper. I just left it inside, as for Karen, so uh, y'all can, you know, salt and pepper is always good. That's all I'm trying to say. So that's what we got right there, folks, just like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this bone off here, okay, I'll take that bone off of there, and I'm going to cut this, this one right here, and uh, let's get us a little, 
Get us a little taste of this. I'm gonna cut some of that membrane off of there. We don't want that. Anyway, get us a little flavor here. There we go. All right, so we got that and that. Now let's cut this one right here. Cut that membrane off of there. Boy, it's some good smelling stuff, man, I tell you. Doggy. All right, and again, we'll cut these. I just kind of, and this is this is absolutely falling apart, folks. I'm I'm serious, just falling apart. Holy cow! I mean, just gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. I know y'all's mouth watering just like mine. All right, so we got this one. This one is the uh, postal barbecue. This one is Uncle Steve's shake. You can tell the Uncle Steve's is darker. Okay. All right, guys, this is my pool guy, Jeremy. How's Good to going? see you here. Man, you showed up just in town because I got I got some stuff for you to taste. Yes, sir. I'm going to let you taste it. taste two different short ribs. All right. All right, from Low Bells of New York. Mm -hmm. All right. Prime, USDA Prime. All right. Good stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, very tender. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get you to taste two different ones. All let right. you tell me which one you like the best. Got you. All they, right. They both look tender. They both, they both yeah, look here. They both looking good. There, there, there's one. Here's mm -hmm. the other. Take, All right. take one of each. Let's try this one first. Okay. What's this one, y'all? I'll taste this one too. Um, I'm not going to tell you which one it is. This, right. These are both. Each one of these has a different rub. Gotcha. I just bro. want you to tell me which one you think is the best so I'll know which rub tastes the best. Gotcha. Just an outside opinion, folks, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm already swallowed it. You didn't need to chew it that much. I know. It's That's just good. melting in yeah. your yeah. mouth. Right, right in the mouth. Mm. Yeah, try, you got to be hungry now. Try, huh? to, try this other one. Mm -hmm. Mmm, I'm gonna get those one right here. Mmm, mm mm. And -mm -mm. I found a rub. It's this one. <laughs> you think yeah, so? This one, this one. Mm hmm. Good. I was actually leaning towards that one myself. Mm -hmm. That's just good, ain't it? Yeah, good. Damn, dude. Good. Here. Yes, sir, that's good right mm. there. All right. Mm hmm. Folks, that's lovely. Uncle Steve's shake is pretty good, but. We both choose Postal Barbecue. Yep. Mm -hmm. This stuff's good. I'm about to give me some of that. I'm about yeah. to give postal me some barbecue, of that. Yep. Man. You want to taste some out of the bottle? Yes, sir, for sure. Yeah, it's got a little cayenne, so it's got a little kick. That's what I like. Yeah, just just pop the top right there, get mm -hmm. you a little bit. Yeah, it's good, man. And uh, actually, the, mm. the rubs the rubs actually change in flavor mm -hmm. after they cook on the grill a little bit. So oh, yeah, yeah it changes nice. a little bit, mm -hmm. yeah. Got a little, got a little kick in the back. That's what I like much. though. I like, I like a little kick. Got a little in sweet, it. flavor. Yeah, all the different flavors. Yeah. Mm. I get, I get kind of like a, almost like a lime kind of flavor. Yeah, that's exactly. It's I, weird. Yeah, I was sitting like, a, like a lime, almost like a, a soury, sweet kind of, kind of flavor. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Well, cool. That, that's delicious. We both delicious. agree. Postal barbecue, folks. That's that's the best one today in this in this review. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Jeremy. Yes, sir. No Good problem. To see you, my man. Anytime, anytime. I'm Good here. pool guy, man. Y'all hook him up. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks, man. I probably know. That ain't gonna lie. That's good. That's good. That's good. It is. We'll get you some more, bro. Here. I say, will you um, get grab this, grab uh, some more? Where you get this? What's the name at? That real from? Uh, I, I, it's a guy out of Canada. He has a YouTube channel mm -hmm. called Postal Barbecue. All right. So I was fixing to tell my fans if you go to Postal Barbecue, I'll put mm -hmm. his link up here in the corner for you guys. Go to Postal Barbecue and uh, let him know T Roy sent you. And mm -hmm. he, I'm sure he'll hook you up with some rub, man. You know, I don't know how much it is or anything. He sent it to me for free, but it's good. I'm about to say, it's deli good. delicioso. I got to get real you good. some water, huh? It's got a little kick. Yeah, huh? I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess him some water. Little, little Folks, water. Appreciate y'all enjoying this video, and I uh, hope you share it with your friends. If you do share it, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. And cheers, everybody. We'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm. That's nice, man. That's, That's how nice. you do it. Get yeah, you some more, bro. Yeah.